welcome to today's video. Today is a brand new day, a brand new you, a brand new whatever you want. Go out there and be a brand new you today. I dare you, I dare you to do it. Go out there, pretend you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're witty, you're loving, you're fun. Go out there and pretend it, just be it, just be it. And if people look at you like you're crazy, just laugh and be it again. Just keep being it. Sam, who are you today? Who am I today? Yeah. Are you happy? I'm Sam. Are you happy? <laughs> Sam is never energetic, but he gets the job done and that is all that matters. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We are racing to the bank because today is a chiropractor day. Also, I'm gonna do something different today than we've done, ever done before. I'm gonna kinda of try and show you guys our nighttime routine, what we do on Friday nights. You guys might know, we never post extra videos on Friday nights. Friday nights is just a us night. It's the only time we ever just do family stuff and I'm gonna bring you guys along like why not show you guys you guys are a family why not show you guys what we do on Friday nights it's a dark and dreary day you guys on the day-by-day -day farm but it's mild out basically in Canada mild means anything above minus 10 <laughs> that's that's mild in Canada so any of you guys who live like in Australia or New Zealand or someplace super warm like Florida and California you would probably think you had died and gone to someplace really cold if you came here today but for us it's super nice like we don't even have to wear hats have little mitts on it's probably about minus five my girl Penny is already waiting to join up I'm going through this door she's going through that door you staying down here with me today do you ever have those days where you just wake up so happy, so excited for today? Yesterday, uh, we took all the buckets up to the house and washed them all so they'd be all nice and clean and fresh and beautiful for our ponies. Hi there, Miss Penny Pickle. Unfortunately, the carrots are frozen today. Frozen carrots are fun though. Have you ever had a frozen carrot? This one looks like Olaf's nose. Hello, Pen. Sam told me to come down early today because my horse is a little dirty. And I noticed her eye, well, I don't, her eyes look a little gunky again. Darn it. Darn it, Penny Pickle, what are we gonna do for you? Hi, little girlies. Be nice, Penny Pickle. Will you not be mean to my ponies? I told you guys before, hey, Penny. Penny. Don't you do that. She actually listens to being told. Anytime you have food amongst a bunch of horses, you're gonna have issues. I told you guys before though, that when we got Gracie, she was super, hey, Penny! She's such a brat. I told you guys before that when we got Penny, like, okay, so when we got Gracie, she was the spookiest horse ever. Like she was on alert and ready to run and you can't have that, especially cause she's gonna be a, a kid's pony. Like all the kids in my family, I'm only getting more and more grandkids. Um, she's gonna be for them. She's the perfect size. Penny, Penny. No, you be nice. She's the perfect size. She's the perfect temperament. She's the perfect like. She's perfect for that. And I can't have her be a spooky pony. And over time, she become she became not a spooky pony anymore. But I think like a lot of her spookiness comes from always being on alert from a higher up horse running them off. So I don't want that to happen again. So Penny Pickle, you have to stop that. And it also makes it hard for me to give her treats in front of them because it creates this situation. So this is my fault. This is all my fault, Penny Pickle. Molly and I are gonna clean this barn. She's like, let me out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna clean the barn up a little bit because the chiropractor is coming. I like her to come to a clean barn. Sam did chores this morning and he's not as into the whole clean thing as I am. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna groom my girl and we're gonna get our chiropractor on.
So uh, one thing about Penny is that uh, being rubbed and scratched and she does like that, but it's not her favorite. Like she's motivated by treats in the best way ever. Yeah, yeah, yes. Look at those lips. Look at those lips. You like it there, huh? That's a good spot for you. Do you guys know your horse's spot? Like she likes that spot. Do you know your horse's spot? I challenge you to come below and tell me your horse's spot. Their favorite spot to be, uh, to be scratched, to be groomed, to be touched. What is their thing? Maybe their thing is not a touch. Maybe their thing is they're motivated by food like Penny is. Maybe, I don't know, her eyes are red again. I've been giving her less medicine and it's not working as good. I've been trying to wean her off. I don't think I can wean her off. Penny likes classical music, you guys. She loves it. It's her thing. It's our thing. Ain't nobody like, ain't nobody like. You look so beautiful. And I'm so lucky to be yours. And you take it. was coupled with my fear of Stella. Like I was nervous of Stella. I hadn't gone far enough in my horsey journey when I had Stella to lose the fear. My love for Penny, ooh, my love with Penny for Penny crosses all barriers, you guys. Like there is no fear in my heart with my love for Penny. Like it's such a different kind of love. And it makes you wonder if all horses and all animals that come into your life, if they play a different role. Stella was meant to acclimatize me to horses, to make me want to love horses. And Penny is meant maybe to further my love of horses. Just an interesting thought. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody like you. Okay, so the chiropractor came and and she gave me lots of information about Penny. She gave me lots of information about Penny. Super amazing, I love her. She told me things to try for her to fix her eye again. Um, and she told me that I was right that because of the way she poops that she does need a probiotic so I have to try and get it into her. She told me to add the tiniest bit and go really slow with it and I'm gonna try that. Also, I made Sophie bring Daisy down to the barn told her the whole story about how at first we thought she was deaf but then we're like no she can't be and now six months in we're really feeling like she's deaf and so I explained things to her and she's a vet and they have actually had a deaf Dalmatian at her old shelter before and she said it took them two weeks two weeks before they figured out that she was deaf so anyways Sophie brought her down to the bar I wish I had a video of it and we showed her how like we did all the tests like come on Daisy come on like how she never responded to anything we said and then we showed her how Sophie got her attention did the sign for sit and that as soon as she's looking at us and as soon as we do sign language with her it's instant connection like she knows everything that she's supposed to do with sign language but she does nothing by vote by voice so anyway we showed it to her and she said I would scrap trying to train this puppy like she can hear because there she definitely whether she's deaf or just the hearing impaired this puppy is a hundred percent hearing impaired like she as a vet said there if I brought her to her office right now today as a vet she would say the dog is deaf she she does not hear and so that was like validation for me and I feel really good that like it's okay we have a deaf puppy and we know how to handle it and she really encouraged us to use the vibration collar and I told her you know like we're gonna use it we just have to make sure that we use it the right way blah 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 I want to research a little bit more before we really get started with her she said also to try a dog whistle any of you guys that have a deaf dog have you ever used a dog whistle um, so she said to try that she also gave me other ways to try the, vi the vibrational collar with her to start her out not just put it on and start it and yeah so I'm really excited you guys and 
there we go like validation that we're not just crazy and our dog just doesn't respond so and I wanted to show you guys we're racing to the barn to catch our other horses because now all the other horses are getting uh, treated with the chiropractor right we are here and we are all gonna go catch a pony and the girls are gonna play with their horses in the arena while she works on each individual horse so we're gonna bring Chino in first She's gonna do him, and the girls are gonna play with the boys in the in the arena. Did you guys know when you guys when you have a chiropractic treatment, the horses can't like act crazy or be ridden for 24 hours? I, I know you can go pee after. All right, of course none of them are here. Gotta go for the long haul. Ah, we met him. We met him. He's probably coming for a drink, and now he's like. Stock still, like, oh no, what the heck? <laughs> our horses are not there. Oh, Gino, yeah, but do you know where our horses are? Oh my god, so you go entertain the okay, you want to do it? Shkevi's like, you take Chino, I'll go find the other one. All right, oh, he wants to go with her. Oh no, so you took it off. Oh yeah, I never said that. Okay. okay. Never mind. We're good. Come on, handsome. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. All right, you guys, okay, let me you know. Can walk, go, be, go to the side and go like that. He will walk. Let me know where you find them. Storm, I can still see you. You're not really hiding behind a tree. There's Finn. You just knew. And that? Storm. Finn. All right, so good news on the Chino Bambino. Uh, the good news is that she said that his back, lower back and his pelvis was, was quite out, which is the thing that happens to him over time and why he always gets that short step. So there's a good chance that after today, he won't be short stepping at all and he won't be have any issue and Gabby will be able to put him back into normal work, but we can't ch check him because he has to just let his adjustment set. So, Gabby, you got butt, dirt all over your butt. I was sitting on a chair. Oh, all right, so now we're gonna do Chino Bambino and we're just letting the horses chill in the arena so that they're not like all out there, so that none's in here by themselves, if that makes sense. And let's go do Finny. The thing is, is that for us, farrier day is all day. And chiropractor day all day. I do too. They, uh, I know. And then it's harder to do. All right. So it's Storm's time. Storm's turn, and he's he's refusing. Hey, chill. I won't let them out. Come here, shh, 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 Storm, why are you acting crazy? So this is his new thing. Mom, can I just put Finn in the field? Yeah, go ahead. Here, 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 here. I'm... Here. And then he just gives in, just like that. Bring the lead rope and we'll put Chino in there too. Storm. Aw. Give it to him before I ride him, that way. Uh, I just saw one of the horses turn like they do this thing at the at the bale where they do like a merry-go-round one horse makes them always move and oh, storms sweaty. like yeah he was crazy yeah you want to stop running oh, yeah another horse that follow you. Horse. all right let's go, right, let's go here you miss bye storm bye, see you bye. tomorrow Get me up. storm was at the merry-go-round that's the merry-go-round bale I call it and he's like too much drum here i'm going to the other bale with my friends but yeah our horses are really yeah our horses are totally in with the herd you guys for sure we're going home it is now what time is it i'm gonna climb the fence watch her get electrocuted no because that one's not electric make sure you lock it i'm going the right way I'm going the right way i'm a law abiding a citizen Whew, anyways, it is really late. It's probably like 3 o'clock. We started at 11. 
yeah, that's how much, that's what happens when you have a chiropractor. One of my friends is the commitment that you have to have to own a horse. It's not just going to the barn and riding. It's not just throwing on some blankets every once in a while. The commitment for having horses goes well beyond that. It is about spending entire days in the barn when they're sick. It's about being on call. It is about being here when they need their feet done, even if it takes hours. Like it's so much more than money. It's so much more than energy. Like it's so much time. Anyway, let's go home. It's now Friday night and we're about to start our Friday night routine. Friday nights are our fun nights. So sometimes I cook something super fun if we're not gonna be at lessons. If we're at lessons, sometimes we buy pizza and we bring it there. Or other nights when we don't have lessons, we do something fun. Like tonight, Sam and I are gonna go and we're gonna pick up food and we ask the girls what they wanted and then we know what we want and I'm gonna show you guys. But we don't always eat the same thing. Like sometimes one person wants one thing and one person wants something else. We get whatever anybody wants, we get it on Friday night. Kind of like a mukbang or however you say it. We get different food, get what we're feeling. And, and I try and try different restaurants all the time. Like we eat different things on Friday nights. So tonight we're gonna go and bring home the food. We're gonna get the food. I just realized that I have not got around to showing you guys some of the mail that we've got recently. I got a letter from a Katie who has a paint mare. She sent us this wonderful Christmas card of all her pets. Look at her dogs, her border collie, and her beautiful horse. Stunning. She also sent us these adorable earrings. And a beautiful horse necklace and this little it's a kind of like a paper clip and it's of a Dalmatian uh, dog a fire dog and this isn't that adorable and I just want to say thank you Katie I know it was meant for Christmas it's so kind of you it's gifts like this that make me realize how thoughtful and kind you guys are that you took things from our lives that are important to us and then sent them. I appreciate it so much. I'm excited to show the girls. Thank you so much and I hope you had, I hope you're having an amazing year with your new horse. She lost her uh, mare soon after we lost Stella. So anyway, thank you, thank you so much, Katie. Your animals are adorable. I love that chestnut so much. We also got this card from Brooklyn and she made us a bunch of little pictures of all of our horses. Super cute, Stella, Penny, or no, Penny, Storm, Chino, even our old pets, you guys. And she also made colored us this little uh, day by day sign. Thank you so much, Brooklyn, for your beautiful card. Also, this adorable Christmas card, it's super neat. This is, this is really cool. This is from Amy and her horse, Ember. She lives in Ontario, Canada, I know her. Thank you so much, Amy, for a beautiful Christmas card and for thinking about us. We also got this Christmas card from Alyssa, and she did something super original. She put all of her pet's paw prints on the card. How original is that? And it looks super cute. I might want to try this with my grandkids. Thank you so much, Alyssa, for your Christmas card. Also got a letter from April, and April sent a picture of herself and a couple of horses. So this is April. What a cute pony. This makes me want to get Gracie in good shape. This summer, Gracie, you'll be in good shape. Thank you so much, April, for your for your letter and your beautiful pictures. All right. All right. So first thing we do on Friday night is open all the food. <laughs> Ruby's like, yes, open it. Okay. So um, let's show you guys what we got. Surprise. So the girls got wild wings, and Sam and I got sushi. Molly's like, yum. We always have the fireplace Why going. Why do we get so much? Because I ordered. Look at all those veggies and dip. Those veggies are Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so these are those Sophie's. Are Sophie's. Hot honey, these are mine. Oh, oh my god! Did so, you order like multiple ones? Yeah, so I got this. Oh, onion rings? I'm so That's hungry. I, I haven't now. eaten any food today, you guys. Fries. I'm so hungry. Oh, fries in the hot honey sauce. So good. Mmm. Fries and hot honey. What's that? 
What's this? Jalapeno poppers. Does it have shrimp? Go. No. Okay, before we eat, put on the movie. Let's see. Is it really good? Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's a macaroni and cheese bites. Movie! And then we watch a movie. So we got, uh, what's it called? Some kind of variety pack for appetizers. We got some veggies. Sophie got some some Where? wings. Uh, we got a side of onion rings. Who and like more onion rings right here? Yeah, who likes onion rings in our house? Me, I love onion rings. I love them. Gabby's like, I will eat them all. Fries, my fries. hot honey sauce. Fries and Gabby's chicken wings are hot and hot honey. So it's hot and sweet. That was my need. That's All right. So what did we get there? Dumplings. Sam? What dumplings. movie are we freaking watching? Dumplings. Oh, who does That's not a love a yummy dumpling? What? Sam complains that I got too much food. Sam ordered the. You can only eat six <laughs> sushi eat before you're too full. This is what it looks like. This is our. This is our Friday night spread. This is why we're all chubby. No, just joking. We won't eat all that, but. Mm. So good. We try and only order food on Friday nights. We don't usually order that much food. And the problem is, is that I didn't eat all day because I was with the chiropractor all day and it started in the morning. So I'm starving. Like I'm so hungry. I feel like I can eat so much, even though I know I won't eat that much. But this is what we do on Friday nights. We get together. We have food. Sam and I both pride ourselves in like buying new stuff, trying new foods, ordering different stuff each week, and then we watch a movie together. All right, so this is my plate, you guys. Licking your Stop licking my chopsticks. This is my plate. I have a potato skin, a fried pickle, a, uh, this is a macaroni and cheese bite. I have an onion ring, and then I got a lot of sushi. I'm having the last of those. The pickles and a little Miss Pissy, no, little Miss Picky Pants over here. What are you eating, Gabby? My wings. Just her wings. Out of all this food, just her wings. Do you like the French fries too? Yeah. She's gonna eat the French fries. What movie are we? What movie are we watching? The show that we decided on. What's the name of the show? I don't know. They decided Fate. on it. Fate. Fate. A new Netflix series. A new Netflix series. What's this? That's a pickle. It's called Go. Fate. The Wings it's a monster. This is it. This is the series that we're going to start watching tonight on Friday night. I don't know about y'all, but I'm staying up till 1 a.m. No, she's not staying up till 1 a.m. Midnight, max. Here's the thing. Even though we have all this amazing food, we're all together in the living room doing our Friday night routine. We still have to put the horses to bed and we still have to edit the vlog for tomorrow so that you guys have something to watch when we wake up. So there's a lot to do, but we are, but we do always take out this time every Friday night to spend together and reconnect as a family because even though we're together all day, every day, a lot of that is not relaxing and today is the day that we relax. So we never, so we never post videos on Friday night or rarely post videos on Friday night. And this is what we do. And we just wanted to show you guys. That is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?